animals are typically classified into two main groups. Vertebrates, which are animals with a backbone, such as mammals, birds and reptiles, and invertebrates, which are animals without a backbone, like insects, spiders, worms and jellies. Today, we're going to take a closer look at a fascinating group of invertebrate animals, arthropods. Arthropods are the most diverse and numerous group of animals. They make up over 80% of all known species of animals. They live in all areas of the earth. From the deep ocean to hot dry deserts and moist tropical rainforests. Common aquatic arthropods include crustaceans such as crabs, shrimp, and lobsters. Terrestrial arthropods include insects, spiders, ticks, and millipedes. Arthropods have a hard outer body covering called an exoskeleton. Made of chitin, the exoskeleton supports and protects the animal's body and can also help reduce water loss. In order to keep growing, arthropods go through stages of molting, a process by which they shed their exoskeleton and grow a new one. Without an internal skeleton to support their bodies, arthropods are usually small in size. Aquatic arthropods such as crabs and lobsters are often larger than land arthropods as they are able to use the surrounding water to support their bodies. Arthropods have organs and body systems for digestion, breathing, circulation and reproduction. They also have a variety of different sense organs such as eyes and antennae. All arthropods have bilateral symmetry and reproduce by sexual reproduction. Some arthropods have specialised internal structures that produce venom. The venom is a type of poison that is injected by a bite or sting into other animals. It can be used to kill prey or for protection against predators. Wasps, bees, spiders and scorpions are often venomous. Let's finish off by taking a look at just how diverse this amazing group of animals are. Don't forget to subscribe!